Let's now do a review of the data that we'll be working with uh, throughout uh, the examples that we go through uh, during this training. So what we've got here is a retail, uh, some data based on a, retail, a retailer. So a retailer that sells on the east coast of the US. And so what we've got is we've got, uh, this is our, our fact table. This is the table where every single transaction that is occurring through all our different retail sites. So you can see here that most of these are indexes and I'll, I'll elaborate on that in a second. But what we've got here is we've got the order ID. So this is basically every single uh, sale that has been made for any, for any single product at any location with a salesperson attached to it and it goes to a specific customer, uh, has the date and it has the quantity that was sold. So this is this is every level of every transaction that is occurring within this uh, this within this retail organization. So they could sell things. They could be selling things like shirts. They could be selling uh, uh, you know, cosmetic products. I guess it doesn't really matter. the uh, the The idea here is just to understand that um, you know, the data is going to be pretty similar no matter what retailer that you work you work um, you work at. Okay, so then we've got uh, our products here. And so to keep things simple, I've just named every product um, with a number. And we've got the product ID, which is gonna relate back to our retail sales table. And then we've got some information on each of our products here. So we've got what the cost of the product was, uh, what the original sale price was, and then there's an opportunity in here to actually add some, say, say discounts, for example. Uh, and then we've got the current price, and then uh, some taxes, some taxes on a, on a sale of, of this particular product, what taxes the company would pay. Okay, and then we've got some location data, and this is this is just all the East Coast retail sites, uh, and so this has got all you know all the key information around where it's located, what city it's in, what county it's in. Uh, what state it's in, so on and so forth. And then you see here we've got latitude and longitude uh, numbers. And so this is how we can spatially analyze this information. We won't actually be going that, into that in the course because this is focused on DAX, but uh, this uh, is gonna be made available. So if you wanted to design your own report, you, um, you actually could. And then we've got say customers here. So this is a more simplified, uh, a more simple um, table, really just the customer ID and the customer name. And then we've got salespeople. So, so there is currently uh, only 46 employees. In this case, this is probably um, going to be, say, the management group because there's probably about over, yeah, there's around 40 retail stores, I believe, in this data set. So, uh, this is just the name of, of each of those employees or, or managers and all or those retail stores. So, this is the data that we will be working with. This is the data that we will have to model inside our data model. And this is where, um, and even with just this information, we can write a lot of DAX. We can write, um, you know, we can really create some compelling visualizations. Uh, so, um, you know, you might think that this is, um, hasn't got a huge amount of information, especially in the fact table, but just ch check out what you can achieve in, with DAX um, with just this data set. So, we'll be going into that throughout, throughout the course.